Hey Virgo, and welcome to your general love reading for the first half of May 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and it is general, so it's not going to be for everybody's situation. But if you would like more specific details, you can book a personal reading with me, and you can find all that information in the description box below this video. Also, the roles in this reading can be reversed because it's general. All right, Virgo, let's see what is going on with you. First couple weeks in May, 2022, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. All right, for the situation, we have the fool crossed by the seven of swords. Okay, so somebody is wanting to take a risk here. Somebody is wanting to take a leap of faith, take some kind of an action here towards a new path, but they're kind of like sneaking away from that. It could even be that somebody has, uh, just to be a little bit more specific for some of you, somebody may have done something that was very impulsive, a little bit reckless, that was also a little bit deceitful, something that they're also trying to like, you know, excuse or cover up. Um, so it could be either or, let's see. And I do feel like actually in both situations, this person is still wanting to take some kind of action, um, but holding back. Let's see, for you, we have the Six of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you, you're kind of like holding your head up high kind of a thing. I feel like, you know, whatever it is that has happened here, you're like, nope, you know, you're like, you have a lot of pride or you just feel like, you know what, like whatever it is that happened, it, almost like you were um, proven right is, is the way that this is coming in. I feel like you were proven right about something or you feel like you were proven right either to yourself or even to the other person or to others, I don't know. And so you're kind of looking in a new direction here for, for now at least. Let's see for the other person. We have the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, and Strength. Okay, some of you might be dealing with a Leo. Definitely doesn't have to be, but could be. Um, so here's the thing. This person is really wanting this connection with you. Um, I mean, they're starting off their energy with the Ten of Cups, and I feel like, you know, maybe things were heading in that direction of being, like, really, really happy. I don't know who did something reckless here, um, or, you know, it, I mean, it may not have been that reckless. It may have just been a little bit impulsive. But I do see this person um, actually having very, very positive energy here. Um, if anything, building up the courage for something. Let's see, potential outcome, we have the hanged man. Okay, interesting, because starting off the reading, we have the fool, which is action-oriented, and then the hanged man, it's not so action-oriented. So I do feel like, you know, there might be something to think about here for someone. Let's clarify, let's make some sense out of this, because I don't know what the hell's going on here. Let's see, let's see the Fool with the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords again, the Page of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so this could even be something that somebody said, okay, for some of you. It might not even be like an action, it might just be something that somebody said that may have been impulsive, um, it may have been a little bit immature, so maybe there was some miscommunication here, and I feel like whoever whoever it is, you know, is having a really hard time um, dealing with this or knowing how to go about correcting this. Okay, let's see your energy. Let's see the Six of Wands. Page of Wands and the Three of Swords. Okay, so whatever it is that is making you feel like, you know, you were proven right, 
Um, it also came with a lot of pain. So whatever that is, um, and I do, again, having a page, another page show up here, I feel like there was something, something here that may have been a little bit immature, a little bit impulsive, whatever it is, it created pain for you. But you also feel like, yeah, you know, um, um, that you were proven right, basically. <laughs> All right, let's see the Queen of Swords. The Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. I'm um, for some of you, it definitely could be that you found out about some third party here. It doesn't have to be. I'm just getting that that might be for for a small group of you. Um, for others of you, I feel like you know you are. Coming to this point where you're feeling like there is no working with this person, um, that you just cannot, I, either you cannot communicate with them, it's like, I, I feel like you want to block them out because you feel like there's just no solution. Um, for some of you, this might be somebody that you kind of have to work with, like if you work together and so that might feel like a little bit of a trap, so you might feel trapped. Um, because of that or you know, maybe there's some other kind of a professional relationship um, But either way, I feel like you're you're just trying to kind of um, Keep your distance in a way at least emotionally I feel like you're trying to just kind of um, Separate yourself from the pain or from from any emotions for this person at the moment Let's see the ace of Pentacles The Seven of Cups and the Chariot. Hmm. Yeah, see, because I feel like you are still thinking about this, though. You're trying, like I said, to detach yourself, but I feel like you are still, you are still thinking about this, and that's why there's this, like, confusion around a new path, a new direction that you're trying to take. I feel like you're not 100% certain, um, and that's okay. That's okay, because you're still processing, you're still processing this pain, and to be honest with you, you know, I mean, you, you do have the right to, you know, process this, or to even change your mind, or to just kind of be like this hanging man and not make any decisions just yet. You don't have to decide anything right now. You can if you want, but I feel like the message here for a lot of you is you don't have to decide anything. You don't need to rush towards this new direction. You can still move towards that new direction, but you can take your time. All right, we also have cancer showing up here. Um, you don't have to rush. I feel like if you're in this chariot's energy of, you know, moving quickly, then, you know, you're being impulsive as well, and that's just leading you to, <clears throat> to confusion. All right, let's see what's going on with this person. Let's see the Ten of Cups. The Ace of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Well, this is definitely somebody who wants who still wants this. They still want this connection with you. I don't know what, what happened here, but they still want this connection with you. And I do feel like they are serious about it. Yes, you know, this might be somebody who did something impulsive, said something impulsive, and you know, you would know best, okay? You, you would know how bad <laughs> um, this was or was not. Um, but I feel like this person is definitely serious about wanting happiness with you, or at least they were. Um, let me see this Nine of Pentacles. So we can see the progression here. Um, the Queen of Swords and the Moon. Okay, so Pisces also showing up. Well, you know, they're, they're kind of hiding they're kind of hiding what they're feeling as well. I feel like this person with the Nine of Pentacles, they're 
acting like they are detached from you and you know to a certain extent maybe they are um but with the moon being here i feel like you know there's something here that they're suppressing see they're in this <clears throat> they have the queen of swords as well and i feel like it's because you're presenting yourself as this queen of swords then they kind of are too but it's not just that i feel like they they're a little bit confused as to exactly what it is that you're thinking for whatever reason. Um, it could even be that this person, um, for some of you, okay, they may have talked about freedom or wanting more freedom or something like that. Um, and it may have come across in, in a not so positive way. Let me see strength because they're hiding something here they're hiding something about how they're feeling <laughs> strength again okay so leo energy um showing up twice here and the queen of wands well this person is definitely wanting this um I feel like they're building up the courage. They're building up the courage and the confidence to come forward. While you're busy looking at this new direction, they're wanting to come forward towards you. I mean, they want this. It's very clear from the very beginning. So I don't know, I don't know what, what it is that happened. Um, but I feel like they're being a little bit stubborn at the moment, just like kind of, Maybe even trying to detach, but uh, but they're they're hiding how they truly feel. So let's see the hanged man, the high priestess, the three of cups, and the page of cups. Yeah, so this strength card could definitely be talking about an apology, um, because it does take strength to apologize. So I feel like this person. It's kind of like, you know, just putting up a front here with this Queen of Swords because you're also like this Queen of Swords, just, you know, acting really like, you know, like they're good, they're, you know, all confident, but it's not true. That's an illusion. It's just a front. Um, this person is wanting to apologize and I do see them moving in that direction, building up that strength in order to do that. Because I feel like it's not easy for them. I feel like this person might also have like quite a bit of an ego. Um, so it's definitely not an easy thing for them. But I do see it here coming up in the potential outcome. Um, again, I feel like it might take some time. It's because it's not easy for them and especially having the hanged man and the high priestess I don't feel like this is going to be something that is going to be so um quick or obvious like they might even apologize like in a um like in an indirect way so then you know it'll be up to you what you want to do with that um, but definitely move they're moving towards this reconciliation here or at least trying to, trying to make up. So yeah, and for, you know, as for you, you know, trust your intuition. That's the other message here. Trust your intuition, you know, move forward towards that new path if you feel like that is what is best for you, but just know that there's no need to rush, okay? Um, taking a step back to process the pain or to, you know, assess the situation, there's nothing wrong with that. All right, Virgo, let's see if this resonated. The final message for you is a new start is coming and it's the new moon. Yeah. Could be with that Ace of Pentacles there. Could be a new start with this person or just a new start on your own, okay? It's really going to depend on your situation. Either way, no need to rush it. It's coming regardless. All right, Virgo, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.